Hey, this is Ross with my partner, Bob. We have a show called Worldview Matters. And Ross, as you know, we believe that everything in life is somehow related to how people view the world around them. Our show is available on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app. Also available on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for Friday, July 5th. I'm James Spann. Wet is still the word as a very, very deep moisture axis covers the state. Let's go to some of the Skycam shots. These were captured about 6 o'clock this morning. Just had a little daylight there. That's the Inverness Skycam. I think a lot of people are off today, but some are having to go to work. Uh, the sky there is cloudy. It's not raining at that point. Here's a look at downtown Fayette. And on the Alabama Gulf Coast, some mean-looking clouds. Looks like a heavy downpour off in the distance. That's from the Phoenix All Suites looking back to the west over toward uh, uh, Mobile. You can see the little lagoon off in the distance there. Well, there's the deal. The, the synoptic setup just isn't the, the, hasn't changed any. Uh, the moisture axis right on top of us, an upper trough to the west providing dynamic support. And uh, we'll be wet at times through tomorrow. That's the radar at 6.08 this morning. And you see tropical showers, uh, mainly south of Interstate 20, but those are moving north. We'll see those occasionally through tomorrow. Basically, all 67 Alabama counties under a flash flood watch. Uh, weather Service offices in Huntsville, Birmingham, Mobile, Tallahassee combining for that. And uh, the watches extend up into Ohio, up through uh, Nashville and Cincinnati. Atlanta's under a flash flood watch. Uh, of course, the good news, no severe weather. The air is cool and stable, just some 5% pockets around the nation. Uh, tomorrow, the uh, slight risk is way up north, and pretty much the same thing on day three, which is Sunday. Uh, this is the rain for the next five days, valid through Wednesday morning of next week, and this is suggesting rain amounts of about two inches here. And if you want to stretch it out to seven days, uh, this is uh, coming from the uh, HPC guys. And, uh, boy, it's showing 9.87 inches at Pensacola. Goodness. Uh, whatever, one way or the other, you can see how Alabama's kind of in the bullseye of some of the heavier rain there. Thought we'd check uh, the weather in the tropics. The good news, you're not going to deal with any uh, tropical storms, at least anytime soon. Uh, the, the guys have a little circle over the Bay of Campeche where there's a broad low, but obviously nothing is happening there. And one more rain look. I thought I'd show you the uh, rain estimates coming from the Eglin Air Force Base radar uh, since it started. And, boy, the numbers are just almost off the scale uh, from Panama City up to uh, Interstate 10 around Bonifay, Florida. And that's uh, suggesting rain amounts in some spots there of uh, 15 to 18 inches. And uh, needless to say, that's why they had a lot of flooding issues in uh, Panama City yesterday and the wind was bad i mean th this this whole thing has had the impact of a tropical storm even though it's not a tropical storm with wind and rain and rip currents and everything else let's look at modeling this is the ozgfs valid at one o'clock this afternoon at 500 millibars upper high over the atlantic upper high over arizona troughing in between and uh, with that moisture in place we are in prime position for more rain today here's the high-res nam valid at four o'clock this afternoon Showing rain over most of the state. Any improvement tomorrow? Not really. This is the uh, high res name at 4 o'clock tomorrow, 4 o'clock Saturday. Occasional showers and storms. Doubtful we make it out of the 70s today. We might touch 80 tomorrow. Uh, yesterday, uh, Aniston set a new record low maximum. Their high was only 76 degrees. Birmingham missed it by one. Our uh, high yesterday was only 77. This is Sunday. Evidence that uh, the showers become a little more scattered in nature. Now, still, it's going to rain Sunday, uh, and it's going to be mostly cloudy, but maybe just not as much rain. All right, next week, uh, this is Monday, and uh, you can see how the dynamic support is, is weakening as the trough finally begins to lift out and the heights are coming up. So Monday, there should be a, a marked improvement. Still, it's going to rain on us. There'll be scattered showers and storms about. Don't get me wrong. But they will be more scattered and uh, maybe some sun at times. Still, I don't think we see 90. The high should be in the upper 80s. Tuesday, kind of back to a summer look. And we might touch 90 on Tuesday. And the same thing Wednesday, uh, 90, a mix of sun and clouds, scattered mostly afternoon storms. 
Thursday of next week, evidence of maybe a surface front trying to come in here from the north, a surface high kind of pushing that south over the Great Lakes. And here's a week from today. Uh, the big upper high is still back over the four corners in the southwest. And down below that, a dying front north of us will have scattered showers and storms, maybe touching 90. But again, no sign of any really super hot weather. In fact, let's go to the end of the forecast. Look at this. This is uh, July 20th. Nice troughing over the east, a ridge over the west. And if that's right, cooler than average, pretty decent chance of showers and storms. It's just so far a summer where heat has just been kind of a no-show. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. Well, I have notes on the blog. Now, my next video will be Monday morning at 7. We're on the holiday schedule today, one per day. Uh, Brian Peters will have the updates uh, tomorrow and Sunday, the videos. And if you can, watch us on television or the live stream this evening. That's ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful weekend, and God bless. Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.